Today's episode is garage door maintenance and I'm gonna be showing you how to reduce those squeaks and rattling sounds on your garage door by following some simple steps. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Before we actually get into the maintenance part, I actually wanna go and test out how loud this garage door is. I'm starting to hear a little bit of rattling and squeaking sounds on some parts. This garage door is only actually six months old. It's fairly brand new. It's probably not gonna be as loud as my older garage doors that I had in the past, but I wanna go and test it out with this sound decibel meter and we're gonna test out the before and after, how loud it is now compared to after our maintenance, see if it actually got a lot quieter. So in my opinion, I think it's good to lubricate your garage door every six months or so. The two products that I'm gonna be showing you today that you can use to lubricate all the moving parts in your garage is this WD-40 white lithium grease. This other brand by Lucas, it's also a white lithium grease, but it's not a spray version. It's more of a gel type version that you can apply. If you wanna go with the simple application and it's just a spray on version, this white lithium grease by WD-40 is probably the easiest way to go. These two products, I'll leave a link on the description down below if you're interested. Also, take note that don't use regular WD-40. The regular WD-40 is not meant for lubrication on hinges, okay? So make sure you don't use that. Use the white lithium grease by WD-40. Link on the description down below. So one of the areas that we're gonna be focusing on lubricating are these hinges on this garage door. There's about 15 total, five on top, five in the middle, and five on the bottom. Now let me just show you how much friction these hinges actually have. This hasn't been lubricated yet, and it actually squeaks when I turn it around like this. Okay, so let's apply some lithium grease on this. Make sure you shake this out really well. Just gonna apply a little bit. I suggest you get a piece of rag, wear gloves when you're doing this because you are still working with chemicals. So you don't want this observing through your skin. You wanna place a piece of rag underneath there so that you can capture all the excess and this doesn't drip all over your flooring or top of your car. It's very important that you focus on where these connections are. After you apply this, just give it a good wipe to get all the excess. Just gonna turn it at the difference now now that i'm turning this that squeak that we heard before is actually gone and you're going to repeat that process on all of your hinges in this case this is one of the 15 that i have to do i want to point this out specifically when we get to where the rollers are located you see a hinge here and also you see a roller so you want to stay away from the rollers just focus on the the hinges right here and but we are going to lubricate where that roller pin is at so inside there we're going to apply a little bit of lithium grease even though it's a little loose but never lubricate the rollers themselves a little bit on the inside once we get that going we're going to rotate this so that we can evenly spread that lithium grease on the inside of the tube so next we're going to focus still on the hinges notice how each hinge is bolted down i'm going to be using this 11 millimeter socket wrench and we're just gonna go and test out if any of them are loose. So make sure that they are nice and tight. I know given this garage door is only six months old, it's probably not gonna be as loose as an older garage door, but we still just wanna make, check if they are nice and tight and down. Again, you're not gonna go apply force on these. You're just gonna go and test out if they are loose, you're gonna tighten it nice and snug. It doesn't hurt to check if any of them are loose because if they do end up loose, there's a possibility that that's gonna create the rattle and you're gonna break your garage door in the future. The next area that we're gonna be focusing on is this arm right here where it actually connects the garage door to the railing right here. Now to get to that part, I am gonna be using a step ladder. So if you have one or something you can step on safely, please use that. Two parts on this arm that has the movement is on this and also around here. 
the next area that we're going to focus on is this track where this feeds now this is a belt driven garage door there's also a chain driven you don't want to get any white lithium grease or any type of lubricant onto this belt so you want to protect this as much as possible if i run my finger through this track right here you can see that it's fairly dirty like so and clean off that debris under there so that we can have a nice clean track before we apply that white lithium grease and we're going to go all the way to the each end and don't forget also the other side as well you don't want to get any white lithium grease on the belt itself so what you can do is you can either lift it up like this or you can cover it with a piece of rag or plastic but this should be easy just lift it up like so and then just spray along this track make sure you do it on each side and just wipe down the excess now newer model garages have these tension springs I had a garage door before that had the wayne dalton torque master um, those were the pretty much had the cable drums on each side if you have that kind of older version all you got to do is you're just gonna pretty much spray each one of the drums but for this one it's fairly easy for this tension spring we're just gonna apply some lithium white grease on on top of this the white lithium grease is pretty much it's a lot more like a gel type this is pretty much all just gel it looks just like toothpaste i'll do one side with this and the other side with the spray wd-40 spray white lithium but they're pretty much the same deal um, you're just gonna apply it like so you can just rub this with your fingers like that it looks a little bit more messy but you get the picture and i just put down the straw we're gonna use this spray it does can it does have this label right here i'm just gonna go and spray it down like so see how fast and easy the application is so i might just have to save this label right here i don't want to get this wet spray the rest of this See the difference I'm not, I'm not gonna apply the rest i'm probably just gonna spray the rest of this with this i also forgot this is a moving part right here i'm just gonna spray a little bit of white lithium grease right here just for good measure i'm not gonna spray in here where that cable um, feeds and coils up too but make sure we get each side of this okay because it is a moving part so we're going to do the same thing on the other side for the last part it's mostly not um, spraying anything it's mostly cleaning what you can do is you can take your piece of rag right here or a lot of people i've seen use a sock to get this done but a piece of rag will work you're just going to go take this rag and you're going to clean around along those railings right there now make sure you do both sides go from the very end and this being so, so brand new it's been only six months since this got installed um, if you look right there you can actually oh man whoever installed this left some metal shavings wow metal shavings right underneath there not very very professional wow they actually left some metal shavings wow that's surprising good thing we ended up cleaning this is probably causing some of the rattles when you get your garage door installed check for that the person who installed this did not even clean out the metal shavings now that we got everything lubed up i'm gonna open the garage door two or three times just so that we can have all that lithium grease spread evenly on the joints and all those brackets there you have it friends those are your before and after on the decibel reading you can definitely tell that the noise level went down on the decibel and given this is only a six month old garage door but there's always room for improvement just by doing this proper maintenance again i suggest that you do this every six months 
twice a year so that you can properly maintain everything working, everything moving and lubricated to make sure that you extend the life of your garage door. Again, if you're interested on the products that I use, check out the link on the description down below and make sure you stay tuned. There's still a little bit of rattling that I hear and that's because of the rollers. I'm going to try to change these rollers into nylon ones because it looks like these are pretty much like hard plastic. So stay tuned for that video on how I'm gonna show you how to change out those rollers and make sure that you always check with your warranty before modifying anything with your garage door as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you find value to this video. If you did, please hit that big thumbs up, subscribe and notification bell, and I'll see you on the next DIY how-to and product review.